In this video, we're going to be talking about the legal definition of charities. Now, we all probably have a layman's understanding of what a charity is, but how is a charity legally defined? Now, this is going to be a pretty short video because I just want to bring a general introduction into the law behind charities before we move into some specifics. So let's get started. So first of all, statutory codification. Historically, there was no statutory definition of charity. Instead, the legal definition of charity was developed through and contained in judicial decisions. So historically, the legal definition of charity was the product of common law. So the legal definition emanated from and was developed by judicial decisions in court cases. So, yeah, it came from the common law. And historically, there was no statutory definition of a charity. So if you wanted to know what the definition of a charity was, you would have to work through the decisions of the courts. But relatively recently, this all changed when the Charities Act of 2006 was created and then came into force in 2008. So the Charities Act 2006 codified the legal definition of charity. And since this case came into force, sorry, since this uh, statute came into force, there has been a comprehensive statutory definition of a charity. So the legal definition of charity is now contained in the statute. The use of the word codified here is used to emphasize that the statutory definition more or less restated the common law definition. So this statute did not dramatically alter the definition that was found within the judicial decisions before it. The Charities Act 2006 has now been consolidated in the Charities Act 2011 and hereafter it's just going to be put as CA. So the Charities Act uh, of 2011 is the legislation we're actually going to be looking at. It is the Charities legislation that is currently in force. The 2011 Act um, is a consolidating statute, so it is one which repealed a number of other statutes relating to charity law and then brought them together under a single overarching piece of legislation. So what the 2011 Act did was repeal and reenact the bulk of the Charities Act 2006, including the sections in the 2006 Act which defined charity. So what we have now then is the legal definition of charity in the 2011 Act. Now as it is a consolidating act, it has not really made any or any substantive changes to the law. So the legal definition of charity in the 2011 Act is identical to that seen in the 2006 Act. So where then can we locate the legal definition of a charity in the 2011 Act? Well, if you open it up, you'll see it right at the beginning in sections one and two, and that's what we're going to have a look at now. Okay, so the legal definition of a charity is contained in the Charities Act 2011 sections one to two, and the Charities Act section one defines a charity as an institution which is established for charitable purposes only. And to determine what a charitable purpose is, we must then refer to section two. Section two defines a charitable purpose as one which falls within section three, subsection one, and is for the public benefit. So what this uh, what these sections tell us together then is that an institution is legally a charity if it can show that each of its purposes falls within section 3 subsection 1 and is for the public benefit. So if that is the case then the institution is a charity in law. So it needs to demonstrate that each and every one of its purposes for which it has been established falls within section 3 subsection 1 and is for the public benefit. So this is our legal definition of charity, and it will, will require a huge amount of unpacking and explaining, which we're going to do over the next few videos. There is one element of the definition of charity that can be dealt with fairly briefly, and this is the word institution, okay? So charities are institutions, 
as stated in section one of the Charities Act 2011. And that's what we're gonna briefly look at now. So a charity is an institution established for exclusively charitable purposes. That's what uh, section one of the act says. So in order to be a charity, it must be an institution. Now, what does this actually mean? An institution is defined in section nine as an institution, whether incorporated or not, and including a trust or undertaking. So section nine provides us with a fairly broad definition of an institution to embrace you know, unincorporated associations, incorporated organisations such as companies, and also explicitly to embrace a trust. So section nine is telling us a trust counts as an institution. So in other words, a trust can be a legal charity under section one of the Charities Act 2011. Now, our focus over the next few videos is going to be pretty much exclusively on charitable trusts. Now, when a trust is a charity, we call it a charitable trust. So our focus is going to be on charitable trusts to the exclusion of other charitable institutions. In other words, we will not be looking at charitable companies, nor will we be looking at charitable unincorporated associations. But it is important to bear in mind that the Charities Act 2011 applies equally to all charitable institutions and not just charitable trusts. But this was just a really quick introduction to charities and the law behind charities and an introduction to the definition because the whole definition does require some unpacking as I said already. But that's something that we're going to go over the next few videos. In the next specific video I'm going to be talking about the special legal treatment of, char um, of charities and how that differs to other organisations. But if you have any questions about this particular video, then please leave a comment below and I'll get right back to you. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.